But also know that the game isn't declining. It literally hit 8 million at concurrent players at one time. Time, time. Like two weeks ago. 8 million people on at one time. This game isn't declining. This is the day. Fortnite. That Fortnite died. And Marquez Brownlee. Is this what you wanted? No. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's not the day Fortnite died. Well, actually, maybe it is. Anyways, before we get started in this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of our Patreon people. Skip to this time right here that's shown on your screen if you don't give a crap. Thanks so much to Tyler Morrison, Mr. TPG, Guru Miranda, and Broadway Pixels. If you want to become a Patreon of this channel, then just go to the link in the description or just go to the About section and click the click here for 10 years of good luck. And I do random things on there, which is uh, probably not interesting to you so uh let's just get straight into the actual video okay so it's impossible to not get backlashed if you make a video entitled the day fortnite died but before you rage quit off this video and leave a dislike let me just explain one thing. Obviously, Fortnite is not dead. It's still a thriving game with millions of people playing it. However, in this video, we're going to talk about specific turning points of which I believe itself will be the very downfall of the game in the inevitable future. The things I will cover in this video will inevitably cause the game to die. So therefore, in a sense, the game has already died. Okay, now that all that jazz is done, let's talk about the day that Fortnite died. Hey, put the camera down, man. It's showtime. All right, clear! What you are seeing is the original trailer for Fortnite. This came out in December of 2011. Fortnite has actually been around longer than a lot of the people that currently play it. But what all of a sudden changed the game into such a major success? The main cause to this is simply two words added to the name. Fortnite Battle Royale. What's a battle royale? I wanted to know the same thing. So I called Epic Games in Conquest to answer this question. I asked the representative exactly that question. Hello, this is Epic Games. How may I help you? Oh, oh hey, how's it going? Uh, so I have a question. Uh, can you answer this really quickly? What exactly is a um, battle royale game? I'm kind of confused. Um, okay, let me put you on hold for a second. Uh, hello? Literally no one ever picked up the phone after that. So I had to find other ways to answer the question. So I just hopped on my good friend Goggle, and I decided to type in, What is Battle Royale? And it finally gave me one straight answer. Essentially what a Battle Royale game is, is a game that essentially combines survival, exploration, scavenging, and all kinds of things like that with a last man standing gameplay. So it's basically just like realistic Minecraft Hunger Games, but most likely worse. Anyways, after this, I decided to go on Google Trends because that's always a great way to see the popularity of things over time. And I looked up Battle Royale as one of the subjects. And it turns out Battle Royale was actually starting to get a crap ton of success around the time of September 2017. And if you look up Fortnite, you could see that it started to get a major amount of success around that time as well. So was it Fortnite that originally popularized the Battle Royale game style, or was it the other way around? Well, we definitely know Fortnite was not the original Battle Royale game. Regardless, there's lots of clues here indicating the game's inevitable doom. I'm pretty sure we could all agree that a game's success is based off the people that play it, and also the people that publicly advertise it on platforms such as YouTube, and Twitch. And once the supply line for a game starts to cut off, there's no more new viewers that could possibly start to know about it. This has been seen happening to many games in the past that used to be extremely popular. Fortnite reached its peak points back in the beginning of 2018, right at the time when its top player, Ninja, played a duo with the rapper known as Drake. So how long have you been playing Fortnite, or been a fan? Um, probably like, for like about a month or two, maybe? Like that. Like, Sam. Just... You know, we, we stay in the studio for so long, like sometimes like 20 hours. This caused a massive amount of people to know about Ninja and Fortnite as well. It was probably one of the most successful collaborations ever done in gaming. And after that point, 
Fortnite never went up to that high peak ever again. However, it has been fluctuating at a pretty stable rate, not so far below it. However, if we take a look at the statistics of the types of content that's produced on YouTube and platforms similar to that over time, we can see that the amount of videos and content produced for Fortnite has only since gone down very little over the course of a couple of months. And it reached its all-time low in September of 2018, exactly one year after Fortnite actually began to, to pick up Steam. But after this, the game soon recovered and more content was being made about it again. This also started generating more views and thus more publicity for the game itself. However, there was a key turning point in recent times that has changed everything. And once again, it has to do with the simple two words added to the original game's name. The instant that these two words were added to the name was the instant its own death warrant was signed. It may sound crazy, but the very thing that gave Fortnite Battle Royale life is the same thing that's going to cause it to die. As we previously mentioned, Fortnite was a game that was invented in late 2011. However, I'm pretty sure that no one even knew what it was until the beginning of last year. And that's because the game capitalized off of a single game category which recently became popular, a Battle Royale game. But there's a problem when you base an entire entire game off of a single game mode, it becomes extremely vulnerable to something known as a wandering market. Now without getting too technical, I'm going to briefly explain what that means in layman's terms. Basically what it means is just a group of people that could be influenced by a single game, that flock to a single game due to its unique style. Fortnite is extremely simple. No matter how much content is updated into the game, nothing will ever change the actual game itself. Being a battle royale, there is only one function to it. You start a match, and you play against other people, and there's literally nothing more to it than that. There's an upside and a downside to games that are able to do this. The upside is they're able to attract a lot of people due to its simple nature and straight to the point. The downside is they're unable to maintain this kind of attention for any long extended amount of time, because like I said, no matter what updates Fortnite integrates within the game, Fortnite Battle Royale will never change exactly what it is. And due to this, the wandering market that has flocked towards Fortnite will eventually wander somewhere else. A good example of this happening in the past to other games is Minecraft. Due to Minecraft's unbelievably simple nature, it attracts a lot of people to actually enjoy the game. And Minecraft has had countless updates and plenty of things added to the game to add substance and creativity to the multiple things that you could actually do in the game. However, it won't ever change the fact of what Minecraft is entirely. A simple block game. And because Minecraft was able to capitalize on so many updates and new content additions, they were able to keep a very large audience for a large amount of time. But regardless, the wandering market eventually wandered away to something else. Because Minecraft was unable to adapt to the new and changing interests of most people. And the same is happening currently to Fortnite. So in a sense, Fortnite died the very instant it was born. Which doesn't really make much sense, but at the same time, it does. And also, I'm pretty sure we could all agree that Fortnite pretty much died right here as well. So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Please don't take this video anything more than just a grain of salt. At the end of the day, these are just my opinions, but they are based off of actual statistics and real life things. And if you did enjoy this video, then I recommend you go around two inches below the screen and make that tiny little thumb button blue. And if you do that, you'll have 10 years of good luck. And I'll see you guys, and you'll see me in the next video. Goodbye.